Hello, my name is Teresa. I want to document my experience with having hair removal on African American skin. This would be my second time going through treatments, laser treatments for this condition with the ingrown hairs on my face. The last time I had the treatments was about two years ago and it pretty much cleared it up. I stopped doing the treatments not knowing that you're supposed to do maintenance every six months. That's what someone told me. And um, for pretty much the rest of your life. Or to, you know, you feel that you don't want to do it anymore. So anyway, first of all, I'm going to be using the YAG laser today. I'm having treatments, first treatment today. Now my experience before was very painful. It felt like some type of shop therapy. The lady says she removed uh, over 700 hairs from my chin area. Um, so I'm not looking forward to this but I know a little bit more, so I will be taking me some extra strength pain reliever, probably about 500 milligrams, about an hour before I go for my treatment this morning. Today is July 1st, 2017. Okay, so let's start by looking at my chin and neck area. That's what I want to have done. So I'm going to let you get a of you. It's very bad right here. The underside is horrible. It always the hairs no matter what I do go back and curl up inside. Well don't go back. They don't come out once I cut it with the uh, a single blade razor. They don't come out. And it's like a mess. I'm always using tweezers trying to get the hairs out and it's getting worse the last time I did the treatment I had pretty much got my face clear clear I think I had one little spot right there that was still you know with hair inside but it had pretty much cleared up I'm contemplating getting my chin my um mustache done it's been shaving so you really don't see hair I want to get the treatment all the way from ear to ear and then under my neck to about here I mean look at this this is a hot mess I'm totally embarrassed and ashamed um you know I always see people staring at my chin neck area especially guys black guys always look at me then they start going like this i'm quite sure it's subconscious but they start messing with their chin and neck because you know they go through the same thing and sometimes i want to ask them because i see their chin is clear like what brother what are you using man i need to know but i'm so ashamed i know i shouldn't just, you know something I don't have any control of is I I thought it was because I had put on weight I had got up to about 320 pounds the first time I noticed hair growing out of control on my chin I was approximately 250 pounds um, when I got up to 320 it was just out of control like this um, so the doctors used to tell me, if you lose weight, it's probably hormonal. If you lose weight, that um, it should clear itself up. Um, not. It's still a hot mess. I've lost about 100 pounds. I'm down to about um, 210. Give or take 210 at this point. It's been over a year since I lost the weight. And it's 
still out of control. So, um, I don't know if that theory was uh, correct. Hormones. In my family, my father's side, there's a couple of aunts that has hair on their chin. But on my mother's side, I know of none that have hair on their chin. So I guess I, I'm getting it from my father's side of the family, hereditary, I guess. Uh, my sister, my oldest sister, I have two sisters. My oldest sister, she has very few hairs on her chin. She really doesn't do anything unless she has to go somewhere special, then she might shave it off. But she, for the most part, doesn't mess with her um, chin hairs. So maybe that's why hers never got out of control. Me, I've always tried to remove it. I've tried the creams. I've tried um, magic shave. Yeah, don't judge me. I've um, tweezed, I've used razors, I've at one time used the triple blade razors, which I know was just, now I know was just wrong. Right now I've used the single blade razors, um, and as you can see, it's not helping. Uh, what else? I've tried waxing, I've tried pretty much everything. I've tried to keep the skin exfoliated so the hair doesn't get trapped. Nothing, nothing seems to work. And this has been going on for much of my adult life. I'm going to say about age 25 is when I really notice an increase. And I'm 47 now. Okay, so I'm starting this I about 5. A little bit after 5 in the morning. And my appointment is at 10. So I'm going to shave the hair as best I can so it doesn't burn on the top of my skin when they start using the laser um, and and there is hair I don't know if you can see it the hair is last night I took a tweezer and I like pulled not pulled them but you know took them any that I've seen that were kind of in the skin took them and got them out so I could shave them off um, and I can feel it, but you probably can't see it. Just see all these bumps and scars. Anybody has any, um, I, you know, ideas or anything I can use to help with the scarring and discoloration. The last time I used, uh, I was using peels, you know, the kind that you do at home to try to get this top layer this was, I think I started after the second treatment for the laser. I started using pills and a fade cream. I had to look it up what I was using before. But I started using that to try to fade out all of this uh, scarring. Um, I don't know how deep it runs. I'm not into all of that. But I know I need to, once you know I get the hair, start getting it removed. I'm going to have to address the scarring and try to get this off. I'm going to go purchase me some Mederma um, to use afterwards. And I like to use the Ambi um, Facial Moisturizer, the SPF 30. I haven't used it in about a year. Looking for it now to try to find it at a store. Get me a couple of bottles of that um, as my daily moisturizer. The, protect against the sun once I get started on these treatments. So I'll come back this evening or in the morning, but I'm try I'm gonna try to come back this evening and show the um, effects of the tr first treatment. The last time I had it done, the smell was just horrendous. Of, it smelled of burnt skin. Like somebody was frying me. Um, so like I said, again, I'm not looking forward to this. But it's come to the point where I'm just so ashamed. Makeup can't even cover this anymore. Because as you can see with all the bumpiness, it, makeup it just won't even cover it anymore. So even if I you know, cover it, it you can see the bumps. 
So to me, that's like, what's the purpose? You know, with makeup, it's supposed to be flawless. And you're like, wow, is that her skin or isn't it? Not, oh, I see the bumps under it. Yeah, that's just a layer, a mask she has over. So, um, let me see, I think I've said everything. The, um, like I said, the, um, the smell is very bad of smells of burnt skin. <laughs> okay, yeah. Let me stop thinking about it. All right, so thank you for watching this video. Um, like, subscribe, and please comment below.